Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're coming to you today live from the floor of ITW 2024 here in National Harbor, uh, just outside of Washington, D.C. I am Barb Mitchell from JSA, and I'm joined by Brett Lindsay, who is with, can I say, yep. ARC Data Centers. You got it. Um, we've known and loved uh, you and your team as in Volta, but today's a big day. It is. Uh, big week, I would say. Uh, for you and, and the team. So first of all, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, and tell us a bit. I've obviously let the cat out of the bag a little bit, but tell us about the, the rebrand of Involta. Yeah. So I, th I think for us, when you're when you're thinking about where your business is going over the next five years, you really sometimes need to have kind of a seismic shift within your business as much internal as external. And so really wanted to have a new name that I thought really represented where we're going. So historically, we've been 40% colo, 40% cloud, 20% other, and that could be managed services, fiber, a number of different things. And as we get towards 2027, the desire is to be 75% colo, 25% cloud. And, and that really is a pretty seismic shift for the business and what we've been doing in the past. And so really wanted to just get a new name out there, fresh look, colors, feel, kind of completely different from what we've been in the past. It's been exciting. I mean, as we've said, we're here at ITW. I think I think the first thing I saw when I walked, came down the escalator was this, you know, big billboard announcing this shift. I loved it. I yeah. thought it looked great. I, I, I mean, no disrespect, obviously, to the old Involta brand, but when yeah. you see it kind of blowing up and the new one coming on, uh, it kind of, again, makes that shift where hopefully in people's minds they realize, okay, we're now ARC. Yeah, and I think it, it freshens things, but also cues people to think, Okay, what's different now? Right. So on that note, you know, is your mission the same as it changed? You've, you've touched on a couple things already. I, I think it's I think it's probably more of the original roots uh, from the standpoint of at every single facility we own the land and the building, and so our desire is to be expanding every one of our facilities where we have available land and power. So you'll see us announcing, oh, actually announcing, but starting construction on Akron. Green Bay, Boise, and Tucson from the standpoint of expanding all of those oh, wow. facilities by two megawatts. And then the desire is that over the next three to five years that we would have a rolling two megawatts of capacity coming on at every facility so that we can try to keep up with the demand of the edge. And I think our big change is to view ourselves as we are the edge is how we think about it. Okay. Yeah, that's clear to me. Yeah. Um, and I, I hate to even ask this question because you've said so much already. I mean, you've just undertaken you know, arguably one of the, the heaviest lifts a, a company could do in terms of uh, rebranding and, and repositioning in that way. You've talked about um, some new sites that you're working on. Dare I say, what else? <laughs> you know, I well, mean, it's May. We still have half a year left. Yeah. So we're you know? uh, we're going to be having the grand opening for our Green Bay facility in June. Okay. And so that facility has 20 megawatts of available power and about 25 acres of land. So we're already planning on uh, two different types of expansion for Green Bay and getting a lot of interest in that. So that's that's really our big push right this second until we get that uh, grand opening. I believe it's June 15th. Okay, great. So what I was going to say what's in store, but I know what's in store. So today you're on a panel, right? I am. Talking about greener data. I am. Tell us about that. What are you, what well, are you going to be Well, I'm, I'm actually off? going to pretend that I'm Ken Kramer, our CTO, oh, okay. because he's the one that actually wrote the chapter in the book yep. uh, around uh, direct liquid cooling. And so we'll talk Amazing. about what we're doing to try to help with sustainability and how we think about direct liquid cooling for our customers. Fantastic. I can't wait. That's Look only in a few it. hours from That's now. That's right. So for 4 o'clock, I believe. Yeah, for roughly. anyone who's tuning in, 4.15, there's a panel uh, just around the corner from our booth here. So, yeah, yep, we look, look forward, forward to it. hearing about that. That'd be great. But, um, and so thank you. I know it's such a busy week. We really appreciate you taking sure, my the pleasure. time to, Happy to, be here. to uh, stop by and, and talk to us. And huge congratulations thank to you, you so much. and the team. Appreciate it very much. Yeah, And thank you to our viewers for tuning in again to JSA TV Live, where we'll continue to come to you, bring stories, news, and updates from leaders across our industry. Until next time, happy networking.